the one on one locks up young black youth, what you gonna do? But you stop it, friends. When the one on one locks up young black youth, what you gonna do? But you stop it, friends. When the one on one locks up young black youth, what you gonna do? We said stop it, friends. Stop and frisk is the crime. Stop and frisk is the crime. Stop and frisk don't stop the crime. Stop and frisk is the crime. It's glad to see a lot of your young brothers and sisters out here because basically we don't see a lot of that in many protests and rallies that we um, participate, especially in the Bronx, Brooklyn, and other places. So it's a great thing to see our young kids out here, especially in Rockaway, which is being hit hard. I mean, the stop and frisk in Rockaway in 2012 went up 10%. 10%, that means that, I'm gonna give you numbers so you can understand what I'm talking about, all right? In 2012, there was 9,770 stops and frisk, all right? Within the 101st precinct alone. Out of those, out of those 9,770 stops and frisk, 9,399 of them was people of color, meaning black or Hispanic, right? Now, out of that, we talking about 1,898 was violence, stop and frisk. And out of those violence, stop and frisk, now we talking about innocent people stopped. From 9,770, 9, 8,787 of them was innocent people. I never stopped. Majority, that's like 80.9% of the stop was of innocent people. And also, that leaves out 983 people that was given summons, right, arrested for low levels of marijuana arrests, right? And, like I said, think about this, 1,898 of those stop was violence stop, meaning police use violence. And they only arrested out of that 250 people. So you're talking about a big amount of people that violence was used, never arrested, all right, and sent home feeling traumatized, feeling dehumanized, all right, and feeling like they've been just criminalized for something other than just walking down the street from one side of the corner to the other side of the corner. So what we have to understand is that we're going to have to keep fighting against this policy. Our voices have become strong and precise that it can no longer be ignored. We have to keep uniting our voices. Even though there's a small number out here, we was very loud. You seen people from Project Windows looking down, so that means we was echoing into people's mind and into people's heart. And we was trying to, oh, and we was opening the windows and doors of their mind to see that there's a problem here in Far Rockaway. And the problem is that stopping friends does not stop crime, it has become a crime. A crime against humanity, crime against our youth and a crime that needs to be stopped and approached. Another thing that I wanted to talk about, but I probably let my brother Ace talk about it, the importance of Cop Watch. Right? I am the co-founder of the CPU, which is the Cop Watch Patrol Unit. We walk around wearing these badges here, and we walk around with that in the back saying uh, uh, Special Police Brutality Unit. We have become known in every precinct to the point that they actually know us. All right, they know us in almost every precinct within the five boroughs, and they're going to get to know us in Far Rockaway real soon. Yeah. Yep. No justice.